Good morning, everyone. And thank you so much for the opportunity uh, to be here to listen. Uh, my name is Ed Bachuna. I'm the Chief Financial Officer at Shining Hope for Communities. And uh, we are a grassroots movement that was founded by Kennedy Adede in 2004. Um, out of um, a cycle of unending poverty, frustration, ho hopelessness, and uh, basically abuse. So Kennedy started um, Shoko um, after seeing a lot of abuse and seeing that uh, there was no way out. Um, in spite of uh, seeing so many organizations that were working very hard, well intentioned to solve the same issues that he seemed to see uh, not ending. As a result, he engaged his friends uh, with a soccer ball and decided that uh, the solutions in order for them to be sustainable and effective had to come from within. So he was just basically him, his friends, and a group of people coming together regularly to think through solutions. Over time, Shoko has grown to um, having um, presence of uh, nine different locations, uh, slums in Kenya, Nairobi, and Mombasa. Uh, we recently went to Kisumu and basically have an impact to over 275,000 people and over 500 staff, or more than 60% of them coming from within the slums. Basically, our vision um, is really to um, work with communities so that we can disrupt the survival mode of living and then um, uh, provide an environment where communities can engage together and, um, uh, for advocacy and access and then to train the future leaders of uh, Kibera and, and other slums who uh, have an impact on um, um, the systemic change that's necessary. So we consider ourselves a grassroots movement, uh, meaning that uh, the people um, are the leader of the solutions. We've worked hard to align what we do to the SDGs so that we can be able to have a similar conversation with other collaborators. And you can see how we group the, the primary versus secondary SDGs, basically meaning that uh, we are about a movement, grassroots, organizing, but we, we then recognize that there's some basic services that are lacking that must also be available. So essentially, to, in order to disrupt the survival mode of living, before you do that, you can't even have that second level conversation about transformation and engagement. We do our work through three pillars. You can see the first one is service provision so that we can disrupt survival mode. The second prong is uh, leadership uh, for women. So we have a school for girls in Kibera and a school for girls in Mathare. Um, and I'll show you some of the impact in a, in a, a few slides. And then we have our Shopko Urban Network. I'm so pleased to have one of my colleagues who helped found um, Shopko Urban Network, which is essentially the community engagement wing of Shopko which is now really, really transforming how we think about our work. This is some of the highlights of um, our work. Um, the gentleman holding the soccer ball is Kennedy Odede. Uh, he founded Shofko, he was more boyish at that time. And the lady next to, her, next to him is um, uh, his girlfriend at the time, um, who is now his wife. And together they've worked very hard to um, bring Shofko to what it is today with the support of over 500 people. Um, the first lady graced um, um, came to visit us last year, which was really a strong validation to the work that we're doing. Uh, you can see some of the community organizing that we do. And then the bottom screen to the left is really uh, amazing. This is girls who 10 years ago were poor, no hope, went through our school system. Now they're so confident, um, passed their exams for KCP, participated in the UN model, which is what you're seeing there. And now they have private scholarships full scholarship to private high schools in the US. So this is really another testament to if you stick to the cost um, and you know, just provide opportunities, there's uh, so much that's possible. The bottom right is um, our work with um, institutions. We worked with the uh, IABC. As much as you know, the institution is not so much trusted um, so that in the community, you can start building trust in the institutions that are critical. Uh, so this is community elections being conducted by IABC. This is our impact. As you can see, we are one of the biggest providers of healthcare services in Kibera and Matare. Yet we are doing that mostly by fundraising. But there's so many initiatives that so many other organizations, organizations um, such as UN, the government, already have. So partnership is the way of the future. You can see that we have a lot of trainings, uh, we provide clean water, we have gender-based violence um, uh, programs and safe places. Um, we have 521 girls going to school and over 75,000 Shoko Urban Network members. 
this is um, showing you in a pictorial what impact could look like. Um, we've been bold enough to take risks where others uh, maybe don't feel comfortable so that we can pave the way for what's possible. So this is the Kibera School for Girls, a four-story building, built in an area where you don't have tight audience. So again, inviting people to be bold enough to start in order for the transformation to actually happen. So in closing, um, urbanization is here to stay. People will, over the next um, 10, 20 years, continue moving to urban centers and looking for opportunities, especially in the developing countries, which will lead to um, a lot of our resources uh, constraints. And therefore, um, um, and then we have enough stakeholders. We have over 100 NGOs just in Kibera alone trying to do the good work. So if you think about what's next, because the transformation has not happened, partnership and collaboration is very, very important. So our next um, uh, agenda is because we've already been doing this for more than 10 years, can we engage enough partners? First of all, can we continue working on our model and showing that it's actually validated to work? And then can we start working with partners who are serious enough to combat the uh, issues of the urban poor so that we can invite them in whatever capacity? We're doing that with the Ministry um, of Health, we're doing that with the Ministry of Education, Ministry of uh, Public Service, Youth and uh, Gender, and so many other partners that already care and have been doing this. And essentially, uh, going back to the previous speaker about, it's not about coming up with new solutions. Many organizations have been doing it all along. It's about proper coordination so that we can scale. Thank you so much.